My name is Mike Sullivan. I'm a fisheries scientist with Alberta Fish and Wildlife and we've come out to Lake Isle west of Edmonton to investigate a fish kill. Some of the local cottage owners saw these piles of uh, dead fish, the white bellies sticking up through the, uh, through the open water patch here. And it appears to be unfortunately an all too typical thing where the oxygen levels in the lake have just gotten really low at the end of the winter and the fish are suffocating. Effectively the fish are drowning. And they've gathered around this little spring which has allowed warmer water to come and open the water so that there's a little bit of oxygen interchange with the, uh, the lake surface and the fish can get the last few gulps of, gulps of air here. Not much oxygen as we expected. <laughs> Once you get down below six, fish start to have trouble. This is two and dropping. Some of these white suckers here, some of these guys, this is probably a, a five or six year old. And they have probably come up the Sturgeon River and moved in here. They wouldn't have been able to survive five or six years in this lake. Yeah, that's a white sucker. Looks like a male, he's starting to get bumps on his fin getting ready for spawning season this spring. It's possible that if uh, the thaw is coming, he'll survive it. Here. And the issue seems to be a common one for much of Alberta and, and a lot of the places in the prairies where lots of land use in the surrounding watershed uh, has created lots of nutrients coming into the system. Now, these lakes were always pretty green and nutrient rich. We get a lot of algae in the summer. The algae decomposes over the winter and uses up the oxygen. But the issue is this is kind of like nutrients on steroids with all the uh, land use we've done, the roads, the fields, the cows, the manure, the fertilizer coming in has just boosted the level of winter kill. Like I say, it's like uh, the, the streams and lakes are on steroids now for, for algae growth, for nutrients. And one of the consequences, one of the trade-offs for all the benefits we get of development and agriculture and cheap food is uh, sometimes the water quality declines and this is what we're looking at here is a is a cumulative effects trade-off of the benefits of development with uh, problems with the environment and and winter kill <laughs>